Okay, so here is the whole situation. Um, after listening to what everybody said and thinking about things myself and so forth, I decided to straight up uh, leave a message for the manager, because he's not in, I guess, um, asking if I can start in August. Because if I can start in August, then everything's done, everything's et cetera, you know, no worries. <clears throat> but I must say I'm also a little bit apprehensive about the job, just for the sole fact that it is six days a week, and while it only equals 40 hours, it's that extra day that, let's say, uh, I just did a collaboration with um, Random Entertainment the other day, okay? And that was on a Saturday. So, since that was on a Saturday, what would I have done if I was working that Saturday? I couldn't have even done that video. And there's a lot of other occasions, I'm sure, like, you know, we'll come up with that with video work and so forth, where, you know, people want to do it on a Saturday. It's the day that most people have off, and a minimum wage job for taking that entire day out, for going anywhere, doing anything, working on anything, you know, I'm not talking about party, I'm talking about like working on projects and, you know, collaborating with people. I don't know if that's really worth it. So, what my plan is, is Sunday, I'm going to go, well, I can't do it today because it's probably too late now, or at least I'll have to go really late tonight. <coughs> um, I'm going to go, and I'm going to see what the tip jar is like there, and I'm going to see if it's like ridiculously full, then, you know, that's, that's a good sign right there, you know, that maybe it's going to be a lot more than minimum wage. If it's not, then do to do. But uh, I'm going to do that, and a few people were saying, were saying flat out, you know, like, why don't you, you know, for instance, like, have the whole, why, why can't you afford, like, living off of this and so forth? And the reason why I can't is because California living is exceedingly expensive. And, for instance, my bills and my rent and everything else like that is two grand a month. And I'm not living the high life here. I live in a 550-foot square square foot apartment, 550 uh, square foot apartment, okay, it's a studio, it's not even a bedroom, it's just a studio, I don't even have a bedroom, um, and it's $965, and I know that a lot of you may be going like, $965, 550 square foot, I have a fucking three story house in wherever the fuck for like, you know, 800 bucks, well yeah, but that's California, that's the thing, is 965 for 550 square foot apartment in Torrance, California, right near Los Angeles is pretty damn cheap. And what you get for that money is, is a lot of people who do YouTube and a lot of people who do video work live right near here, like Random Entertainment and other people that I'm doing collaborations with. And that's the, you know, that's the benefit of it. Now, a lot of people have said, well, why don't you just move from here? Why don't you just move out of California? Well, one, again, there's not many other places in America that would have such a good video industry and as many people who want to, you know, collaborate and stuff near here. But more importantly, my health insurance is tied to California because it is a joint health insurance with another person. And so if I leave the state, I lose that insurance. And you may be like, well, who cares? Just get new health insurance. Here's the problem with that one. Is it took me four years to get that insurance. Okay? It took me two years of trying to get Medi-Cal, which I finally gave up on because the doctors were saying I didn't have a heart problem. Even though I have like a stack this big of papers from like ten different doctors at Stanford all around the world that have came and seen me and stuff like that. And second is the... Uh, Sorry, I got slightly off track there. I lost my train of thought. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, second is that as far as getting somebody else who can, you know, see me with my specific condition, it's really difficult, you know, because, again, I have a very unique condition. If you don't know what it is, just go on YouTube and look up Azrae Reaction Heart Condition, and that's the whole video that will tell you. But <clears throat> it's a very unique condition. that I can't just go to Canada and just have some random doctor treat. It's not, you know, I'm not saying there's not proficient Can Canadian doctors, but, you know, it's again, a very difficult condition to monitor because it basically defies all of the known health books, all the known medical books. And on top of that, uh, going back to the health insurance thing, when you are a, when I was trying to get health insurance, a 20-year-old with a pre-existing condition since seven days old that is a heart problem, that's usually pretty kind of, you know, health insurance companies do not like that. They flip their shit at that. So uh, the final health insurance we got was a joint health insurance that is a total of around 400 plus dollars a month and it's split between me and this other person so yeah it's not really cheap health insurance but I have to have it because if I didn't have that my health my medical bills last year would have totaled over twenty thousand dollars so uh, yeah that is before health insurance and that is being that was a very good year for going to the doctor and stuff like that I actually didn't go that often and you know yeah so yeah um, and so there's the whole thing why I can't move out of California, you know, again, unless I get health insurance with a job. If there was a job that provided health insurance built into it, 
sure, I'd, I'd gladly do that, you know. If, if, but, you know, you can't just drop shop and, hey, let's just move to Canada or move to some other state and let's just hope we get a job that's got health insurance, you know, right off the bat, no problem. You know, that's not really easy to do. And so there's that whole issue, and, God, we're going on five minutes now. This is like a life story thing here, Jesus Christ. Um, so there's that whole thing going on. And uh, as far as my the other $1,000 of my rent and so forth is the health insurance, my phone bill, which I need my phone to be able to, you know, do videos, to be able to communicate with people, business, work, stuff, etc. And then my uh, car insurance, which is about 180 a month, I believe. 180 a month, 160 something like that. Um, and then I've got my car payments, which are about uh, another 150 under something like that, I think. Something like that a month. <clears throat> and then my utilities, which are about 50 a month. And um, my... Dude, I had dentist work done at the beginning of the year. And so that cost like 700 bucks. I had to get four fillings in. And so I'm finally going to have that paid off by the end of the year. And uh, my car payment should be due by the end of next year, too. Like, those will be done, so I'll be nice to have that off. But um, all that combined, plus about, you know, 200, 250 bucks for food is, you know, right up there at about a uh, thousand bucks. So, I know there's something I'm forgetting off the top of my head. Um, there's something I'm forgetting in that list and I can't think of it. But anyways, so that's why it's so expensive. It's expensive to live in California. You get benefits for it, but it is expensive to live here. So, for the people that are saying, well, why can't you just live off minimum wage? No, you, you can't do that in California. You cannot. And uh, a minimum wage job after taxes for 40 hours a week full-time is going to get you around a thousand one hundred bucks if you're lucky. So you can see why that's not going to work for me. And people may be saying, like, well, what about your YouTube money? <laughs> yeah, um, there's a reason, like, I'm looking for jobs as fast as I am. YouTube money, no, just, no, that, that's not going to really contribute much at all. So, and I make literally, like, the only money I make off of the comic right now is uh, donations, pretty much, because um, the ad, the ad, things are not doing well at all. I'm making maybe like like five bucks a month off of that, something like that. And I split that between me and Typo. So pretty much outside of that, it's donations. It's donations uh, that people give to the comic are the only way that I make money off of it right now. I'm trying to find other, you know, ad network things for it, but, uh, you know, <clears throat> what are you going to do? So anyways, <clears throat> so that's, that's the whole thing right there. So there you go. So this has been a very long-winded story. It's seven plus minutes. Sorry for that. But uh, I wanted to explain the situation a little more, and I'm going to see what goes on with that. So, yep. Yeah.